data rarely comes into Alteryx in the format that you want. This is an example of how to use the Select Records tool to take control of the top section of your data. Let's say that this is sales data that you've exported from your ERP system to an Excel file. To import this data into Alteryx, first find it in Explorer, and then drag it to the canvas. You're now going to use Alteryx's tools to cleanse, organize, and analyze this information. When you click on the Input Data tool, the first thing you notice is there are unnecessary rows at the top of the data set. How do you get rid of these rows? If this was Excel, you would highlight the unwanted rows and hit the Delete key. However, making manual changes to your data isn't the point of Alteryx. Instead, you want to program Alteryx to automatically remove the rows that you don't want. How do you do that? The answer is that you drag a Select Records tool from the Tool Palette to the Canvas and make sure it's connected to the Input Data tool. The Configuration window of the Select Records tool will now appear on the left side of the screen. If you're working with another tool, and you need to bring back the configuration window for the Select Records tool, click on its icon and it will reappear. With the configuration window open, you're now ready to configure the Select Records tool. To do this for our example, type 4 plus in the Ranges section. When you do this, you're telling Alteryx that you only want the data starting from the fourth row on down and that you want to remove whatever is on rows 1 through 3. Now that the tool is configured, click the Run button. This causes Alteryx to process your data based on how you've configured your tools. Click on the Output Anchor of the Select Records tool. Now you can review your modified data in the Results window to see if it meets your expectations. As you can see, our configuration of the Select Records tool successfully retained the column headings we wanted and all of the sales data beneath them, but the extraneous rows at the top of our data were removed. And that's a summary of how to use the Select Records tool. There are other ways the Select Records tool can be configured as well. For information on this and other aspects of Alteryx, refer to my book, which is available on Amazon. And to receive notifications for CPE or continuing education related to Alteryx, refer to the mailing list sign up on my website.